I've been involved with C for Global Comparative Stud on Red since 2010 and I uh, was a field research supervisor in the Trans Amazon and I used this data as well to my research master and in my master's I looked to different aspects of the Red Plus pro project in the Trans Amazon and one of the aspects that I looked was um, the local perceptions, the local perspectives about the Red Plus project and it's also um, at the topic of my presentation here at this conference. It was nice to see how they perceive it and how they see as an opportunity to improve their livelihoods and also to see their concerns as well because RED has this opportunity to bolster their livelihoods but it also can harm them. So m many of them see actually as um, command and control like another actor that is coming to say what they have to do and not preserving their autonomy. So I think the main message of their recommendations is the importance of really uh, having them as a protagonist in, in the early design of the project. I think I got it first because uh, there, there has been not many uh, research on RED that focuses on local perspective and while many of uh, just projects actually target local people and you don't see many research um, talking about that so I think that's one point and I did my research back in 2010 and I have already presented it to the communities and also to the project proponents so with my research I'm actually trying as well to change this, this project to, to help it to be improved. I think the research could be useful for the IPAN, which is the Amazon in, um, Institute of Environmental Research. So they could possibly use this to shape the project design and bringing this to the academia and to discuss what they're feeling, what their hopes, what their worries.